The new year comes a ton of resolutions, and this year, a lot of people are looking to make some better financial decisions. Our first guest wants to help you reach your financial goals and then stick with them. Here from Clean Slate Credit, we have William Frazier. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's my pleasure. Uh, tell us a little bit about this resolution. Do you have like tons of people come into your office this time of year? Yes, I always get a bunch of people at the beginning of the year. They always make those resolutions to do better um, and make some improvements to their life financially and with their credit. And, uh, you know, they all come in to try to get that help fr from me. Well, what are some of the biggest mistakes people make, the pitfalls that they fall into when they're trying to do better? Uh, when they're trying to do better, the biggest things that they do is they fall into old habits. You know, they try to make those changes to not go out, you know, uh, shopping uh, excessively when they shouldn't. Um, but, you know, they always tend to fall back into those habits and that, that's, uh, habits are really hard things to break. So uh, it takes a lot of teaching and being consistent with them on what they need to do to, to make those changes. Well, a lot of people just don't know where to start. It's really hard when your uh, credit is bad or you're in financial difficulty. and You don't really know how to dig your way out. What is the first thing you tell people? The first thing I tell people is they need to get all three of their credit reports. Uh, they need to see all three of their scores and all three of the reports from the three bureaus because they need to see the information that's on there. The scores give them a reference point to where they may or may not be. Uh, the score will always be different everywhere you check it, but the information on the credit report is what determines the score. Most people overlook that, so that's where they need to start. They need to see those things that are on there to see what they need to address. Why did they need to check all three? Would they be that much of a disparity between the ones? Yes, because every company that you get credit with, or if it's a collection company, uh, they usually report to different credit bureaus. They don't all report to all three. So you may, like some people check Credit Karma and it shows you two bureaus, but that third bureau may have an account that's not reported to the other two and you'll never know about it. And it can be damaging you when you go to apply for credit and that lender checks that credit bureau. So that's why you need to check it because different companies report to different bureaus and you need to know everything that's out there. So when you talk about good credit or bad credit, um, what is a good credit score as opposed to a, a not so good credit score? Okay, the best place to be would be uh, above the 700s, of course, like if you're around 750 or higher, that's the best place to be. A lot of people strive to get to the 800s, but the reason why I say the 750s and, and up is because at that point, you're going to get the best terms at almost any lender. Interest rates and things like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. You'll get the best interest rates, uh, so you'll save the most money, and you can pretty much get approved for anything at that point. So once you get there, you know, that's the best place to be. Okay, so if they come to a professional like you, is that what you would suggest them do? Because most people don't understand the ins and outs of credit or debt. And once they're there, I mean, they've shown you they know how to get there. Obviously, they don't know how to get out. Right. So it is good to go to a professional, you know, just like uh, you can defend yourself in court. Uh, you can also, you know, do the things that a, a credit repair company would do, but you won't know the ins and outs of it as much as the lawyer would, and same thing when it comes to credit. And a lot of people, they have heard different things that aren't necessarily beneficial to their credit, like paying off certain accounts, that, that'll be the first thing they'll try to do, thinking it'll come off of their credit, but when you pay stuff, it's not going to come off your credit unless you negotiate that, which is a whole nother story, but you, you just have to know the best way to address those accounts and uh, you know you can get that information from a professional. Okay so I mean I just want to benefit for our viewers out there watching so mm -hmm. what is the best way to raise your credit? Is there one good way to start restoring your credit? It's not one good way because it depends on where you're at. Uh, one person may have issue with too much debt on credit cards. One person may have issue where they don't have credit. That, well, it, that's not an issue, but they may have collections. So it depends on what's going on with your current credit. So that's why you know I always recommend look and see where you're at. But um, if it's a person that doesn't have any credit, the best thing you can do is go and get credit cards. And most people try to avoid those, but credit cards help you better than loans do when you use them properly. So that's why that's the number one thing you can do in that situation. If you have other negative items, Depending on what it is, you want to try to see what the type of accounts are and if there are any inaccuracies that you can uh, locate, then you want to try to dispute those things to try to see if you can get those resolved or removed that way. Okay, and a lot of people wouldn't know how to talk to people. They wouldn't know the, the terminology and things like that, so it would be better to have a professional uh, to talk to some of these people for you. If yes. they want to talk to you and find out more about this, because we're out of time, if they want to contact you, how do they do that? Well, the best way to contact me is at my number, my main number, 334-430-5296. And also on social media, Instagram would be a good way to get a free guide that I have for people to help them with their credit. And that's at Clean Slate Credit for you. That's the number four and the letter U on Instagram. Thank you so much for being here. Good information. We appreciate it. And Happy New